fish filleter. Um, got this last year for Father's Day and uh, we use it a lot for crappie. It makes cleaning the crappie fast and easy. So if I start behind the gill, go down until you hit the spine and you turn it. Just go down that spine until you get to the base of the tail and I flip it open and I just cut and then I cut that those rib bones out and then there there's your boneless fillet And then you flip that over and do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then there's another piece. That's it. That's it, makes it nice and easy. Um, you can clean 30 to 40 an hour doing it that way and it uh, makes them nice. We'll wash them off here in a little bit after I get them all filleted and then uh, vacuum seal them for the freezer. Okay, so we got our fish. I, I cleaned it real good, just in cold water. Got all the blood uh, scales off it. It's nice and white and fresh. Um, I've got my Port freezer bags for the vacuum sealer. I usually stick a couple fish in each one. Um, I like to do. I, I've dried. A, I like to dry the fillets so they're nice and dry, um, and then stick a couple fish in each package and try and keep it. I find that if I keep it as a single layer, it it just it lasts longer and gets the air out. So I I get it in there. Then I'm going to seal it up. It's a little loud, but and then it's done. It's good to go in the uh, the freezer. I like to write on here what it is, crappie, and the date, and throw it in the freezer, and it lasts for seven, eight, nine months. So it's good to go.